pigmented lesions of the oral cavity divided into melanocytic and non melanocytic under melanocytic there are flat lesions tumors and systemic conditions under non melanocytic there are non white lesions white lesions and systemic conditions pre melanocytic melanocytic the flat lesions are physiologic pigmentations post inflammatory hyperpigmentation smoking associated melanosis and melanotic macules in post inflammatory hyperpigmentation the melanosomes stop into the connective tissue in melanotic macules there is overflow of the melanocytes into the connective tissue it is seen on the vermilion border of lip and gingiva tumors are nevo melanocytic nevi cutaneous junction and nevus cutaneous compound nevus intradermal nevi and cutaneous melanoma nevo melanocytic nevi if acquired it will grow with your age and if it is congenital it will stay with the same size forever cutaneous junction and nevus it is a brown black macule well circumscribed and flat cutaneous compound nevus it is slightly elevated tan or dark brown color the nevus cells drop deeper into the connective tissue intradermal nevi is the most common type dome shaped cutaneous melanoma has two phases of growth first radial and then vertical the high risk locations are back arms neck and scalp systemic conditions are adhesions disease and peutz jagger syndrome adhesions disease is primary hypoadrenocorticism peutz jagger syndrome fecal like lesions are seen on the hands perioral skin and oral mucosa intestinal polyps and also risk of gastrointestinal adenocarcinoma is seen now the non melanocytic pigmented lesions which are classified into non white lesions white lesions and systemic condition under non white lesions we have drug induced heavy metal and amalgam tattoo drug induced the most common drug is minocycline if it is given during the teeth development it deposit in the teeth the other drugs could be cyclophosphamide amiodarone aminoquinolones and azithromycin the heavy metal under this the metal vapors deposits in the skin and oral mucosa it is mostly found as a gray black line along the gingival margin in the gingiva amalgam tattoo the amalgam stains collagen and elastic fibers it is well defined gray black macules there is no signs of inflammation but it is visible radiographically under white lesions we have frictional keratosis verrucous hyperplasia and carcinoma hairy leukoplakia lichen planus smokers palate hyperplastic candidiasis lichenoid mucositis and white sponge nevus the verrucous hyperplasia has exophytic lesions and verrucous carcinoma has both exophytic and endophytic lesions fibrous dysplasia it is a polyostotic version having two syndromes that gives scapulite macules Jaffe-Lycan-Stein syndrome and Macken-Albright syndrome.